There are as many stories and songs about unrequited love as there are drops of water in a pot of rain. It is almost a general rule that a broken heart will inspire a beautiful piece of art, some of which have gone ahead to define generations. And so the story goes that a Tanzanian man named Ahmed Salim fell in love with a girl, Halima, and couldn't marry her. The parents disapproved of the relationship. So she was married off to a wealthy Indian man and he was left to you know, pour the fragments of his tattered heart into a song, or so the Tanzanians claim. You see, the song in question is Malaika, only the greatest Swahili love song ever written, but by who? You know, that's the question, that's the enduring question that has plagued the music industry since the 1950s. Some say that the tune came with African soldiers coming back from World War II. The Tanzanians lay claim that um, it belongs to Ahmed Salim, while the Kenyans insist that it actually belongs to a Kenyan man from Taita Taveta named Fadili Williams because it is his version that was ever first recorded and heard. While Fadil Williams is credited as the original composer of the song, the song did not transcend borders and capture the hearts of the world because of him alone. Other people like Miriam Makeba, Mama Haf Africa herself, Bonnie M, and Harry Belafonte all lent their voices to this song and made it global. Then later in 1963, in the wake of Kenya attaining independence during the Jamhuri Day celebrations, Tom Boyer invited Miriam Makeba to come and perform. But there was one problem. Makeba didn't understand Kiswahili. She's South African, after all. So what did he do? He had her listen to this song over and over again, and then before performing the song, he scribbled down the lyrics to the song for her to refer to. <laughs> but in doing so, he made a mistake because he added a lyric to another one of Fadili Williams' songs called Pesas Asumbua Roho Yang, which must be the most influential mistake in the history of Kenyan music. Because since then, that is the version that has been sung. Curiously though, when performing this song later on in Paris, she introduced Malaika as a song from Tanzania. Here's a song that comes from Tanzania. Which gives credit to the Ahmed Salim claim by the Tanzanians. But there is context. Makeba was a political exile due to apartheid. Malaika. And in that chapter of history, Kenya does not really feature as gallantly as Tanzania did, to say the least. And so I guess we will never truly know without a hint of doubt who composed Malaika. Perhaps it was never meant to be owned by just one person. Perhaps Malaika was supposed to come into our lives to teach us a lesson that love can be magic and sometimes magic can just be an illusion. And to that, I nod my head and raise my glass to a beautiful tune, Malaika. Cheers.